Hello. In one of our previous videos, we talked about the USB 3 cyclic action installation, which is used for modifying bitumen to improve its performance properties and extend the lifespan of road surfaces. In this review, we offer an installation with the same purpose, but of continuous operation. Now let's move on to the installation's control system. On the front panel of the control cabinet, there is a mnemonic diagram of the installation's operation, buttons for activating devices in manual mode, service buttons, and the controller. In addition, there is also an indication of power supply and phase control of the installation. The control logic is implemented on the Siemens logo controller, which is a compact and versatile device. The power circuits of the devices are equipped with protection circuit breakers, frequency converters, and a soft starter. The control system allows the installation to operate in both automatic and manual modes. The manual mode is used for setup purposes and is mainly needed for component calibration. The automatic mode is the primary one and includes the following sub-modes. Heating, modification, modification with additives. Recirculation, refinement, and flushing. The main mode, of course, is modification with additives. All others are auxiliary and service modes. The system includes a series of pressure and temperature sensors. If the values exceed the set limits, the system provides a range of emergency response algorithms. Depending on the type of emergency, the system provides an instant stop or a stop with process completion. Thus, the system ensures prolonged and safe operation of the equipment after the operator inputs the calibration results, the installation can operate in automatic modification mode for as long as needed. It is worth noting that the calibration of components in the process is quite simple and usually takes no more than one work shift. Recalibration may only be required when the components being used are replaced. In fact, all units of the installation are equipped with frequency converters, which allows for varying the formulation of the modified bitumen within the widest possible range. The stated modification capacity with a polymer content of up to 6% is approximately 10 to 12 cubic meters per hour. It is worth noting that the polymer content of up to 6% is not the maximum limit for the installation. If a higher polymer content needs to be introduced, the system automatically adapts by adjusting the performance. So, the main advantage of the installation is its ability to operate in automatic mode with almost any known modifiers whether in granular or powder form, or even in the case of a liquid phase. In this case, a hatch is provided, and the installation is additionally equipped with a supply pump. The installation allows for the production of a product across a wide range of formulations. Thanks to its high performance, the installation ensures the production of the product in the shortest possible time. At the same time, the installation is quite compact. Thanks to a high degree of automation, the installation is extremely easy to operate and maintain. Optionally, the installation can be equipped with additional component input units, such as sulfuric or polyphosphoric acid. The polymer input unit can be equipped with a hoist device with scales for feeding big bags. The pneumatic control system for the cranes can be supplemented with a compressor. The mill can be equipped with an end seal. Thus, the installation represents a simple, reliable, and efficient system for producing almost any bitumen modification products. What other functions and features would you like to see in continuous bitumen modification installations? Leave your suggestions in the comments. You can get additional information at www.globecore.com by troubletroublebeglovka.com by